again, it's me, Jen. I'm gonna be making a reaction video to the video that I made 10 years ago when I was like 15. It's gonna be uncut because obviously you need to see the emphasis of the video. The video is actually nine minutes long and I lied. It says that it was posted nine years ago but I'm pretty sure it was like 10 years ago because it was in 2006 and we're now in 2016. So that to me is 10 but maybe this repost was done a year later. The last time I saw this was maybe five years ago. So, without further ado, I'm going to <laughs> watch this video and show you my reaction to it. So, let's see what we got here. Let me just readjust my lens a little bit. Okay. Alright, let's, let's do this. Oh boy. Whoa. Okay, guys. Enough of my hyper moment. I just saw the Fox News does a special report on emo scene kids. Holy shite. I did not realize how many people actually hate emos and teen kids. Oh, hold on. I need to get stoned for this. Let's try again. But you know what? <laughs> people who have emo side are punk rockers who fully want to kick emo kids and teen kids asses. Why are you hating on something that's probably going to be bigger than what you are now? There are so many scene and emo kids out there. How are you going to kill them all? You can't kill me, can you? I don't think so. I'm going to be one of the voices of these scene and emo kids because you know what? We need more people like me out here. Let me just pause that. No, we don't. And I'm so glad that I grew out of that. Okay. Whatever is going on with all these people hating on emo kids, or I go to school. What was going on? Why did everyone hate emo scene kids? Why? and I'll have a bunch of kids saying, oh, yeah, emo kid, da, da, da. But unlike the U.S., we don't have people beating the shit out of emo kids. I didn't know better. I don't know what the fuck's going on in the U.S. I don't fucking live there. All I know is that Donald Trump's a fucking weirdo, and uh, I don't even have an opinion to say about Hillary because I'm not about her either, but as I will. In Canada, we don't do that. You either have respect for someone's style, or you can just shut the fuck up and walk away. Because we're not causing trouble with gangsters. We're not causing trouble with punks. We're not fucking around with the rockers. We're not pissing anyone. We're rocker. Y'all are just getting all mad because we are starting to be something that you can never be. And that is a giant movement. Disagree with me if you'd like. You can comment this and be all like, you're an evil piece of shit. Da, 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 da. I don't fucking care what you think. I did care. I was satisfied. I don't care. You all think that you can just punch an emo kid and they're going to be knocked down? Pick a fight Depends. with me. Hit me once. Now, nowadays they I have knives. I'm in my face like Jesus did. But if you hit me twice because I'm something that you ain't, I will box the fucking shit out of you. Like, who are you to hurt kids who want to belong to something? A kid is emotionally hardcore because things have happened in their life. I've had fucking shit happen to my life. I've had three of my freaking friends look at this and I don't even see me. Suicide. Like, it doesn't oh, look like me. they're emo. It's not about that. Not all emos cut themselves. It's just a music. It's a term of anger, frustration, life, teenager angst. The whole thought of you are something. You deserve a I voice. I spoke like Don't be such a loser. That is where screamo comes yeah. out of. That is where this kind of music comes out of. And you're just hating on us because we want to speak out. You guys are all afraid of something becoming stronger than what you are. Oh, Punkers and whatever and whatever groups there are, gangsters and whoever hates emo kids, the only reason why you hate it- Oh my god. I feel bad for anyone who actually survives the whole 9 minutes and 35 seconds of this, because I'm- I'm like, what the fuck, Jen? Like, Jen! Jen! So I'll say one thing, I was naive as fuck, because I had no idea what the emo community really was. I was just on Stacam and trying to be a follower because I was such a poser. This is because you're afraid and you can't raise your voice up to what we have done. We will what have we done? tell you straight up, we are upset! Are we? We do not like our society! No, we, we don't like ourselves. change! Now! That too. You guys, you guys just watch and see everything pass around. Life doesn't like that. It's not about getting stepped on, it's about standing up for what you believe in. And I don't, I don't think that's wrong. 
Stand up for what you fucking believe in. Live your motherfucking dreams. Be your own boss. Get your paper. Be successful. Treat yourself. Know yourself. And if you're gonna start hating on emos and scene kids because you don't care or you don't like that we're speaking up and we don't like what the fuck you're doing, live with it. Knock me out, punch my teeth in, kill me, shoot oh, me, shit. cut my wrist, Girl, blow me black. I it. don't care. I did. I though. can't really call myself a full emo kid because I'm not fat. I'm a poser. I took one day and I said, fuck this world. I'm not gonna live my life. I said, fuck this world more so after this video than any other time prior to making this video. I used to like go to school and just feel so anxious. Like I do not want to go there because I knew everyone would just stare at me and treat me like fucking crap because of this stupid video, because of the stupid internet, because of stupid YouTube. But anyways. Anymore because you know what, what the hell's the point in being upset when I can just stand up, tell people fuck off, get out of my oh, fucking shit. face, I go swear a fucking lot. box. Yeah. Oh my god. It is not about being sad. Bad if you're an emo kid, take this from me. Take if you're it. upset, don't write. Sad oh, my life sucks. No, write whatever the fuck makes you feel fucking better. If it's about being sad and your life sucks, fucking write it. If it's not, fucking write it. Just fucking write however you're feeling down because you deserve to write whatever the fuck you want to. Don't, don't do that. It only makes what people say about emo kids true, and it's not. You have the power to change what you are. You have the power to believe in something more. You, you, your own hands, yourself. You have the power to make something of your life instead of just wallowing in it like it's not going to change. I can't do it. You have so much. You can do so much. Fun fact, life gets better. You're going to get better. Things will improve. You're not going to be an emo scene kid forever. And if you are... You are worth much more. You're worth a lot much more. Like, everything that you're going through right now is 100% temporary. The next chapter of your life is right around the corner and never, ever, ever give in. Never, ever, ever give up and believe that there is going to be something better awaiting for you in your future. People who are hating on seeing kids the day 666 about National Beatdown Day, what the hell? June 6th, 2006. World, that's like killing gay people because they're gay. That's like killing a black person because they're black. That's no. like killing like an Arabian child because they're Arabian. No. It's labeling and everything fuck. like that, it's kind of like labelism. That's a hate crime, <laughs> hating someone because of what they are. When personally, each and every one of us, human beings, does like something about the other. Whether it be the music. There could be a gangster out there who, yeah, yeah, he likes hardcore music. Oh, yeah, he likes is. to just let it out. Scream it out. You know, play some angry chords on his guitar. Whatever. Write the really sick-ass rap and just let it all rip out. You know, just tear it up. Just tear it up. And then there are kids who are just like, you know, they're preppy and they believe that, you know, life is all great. But they do have moments where they are. I'm so embarrassed by this, but I'm also like, ah, oh, shit. Kids say the darndest things. <laughs> and they do have moments where they do want to fucking cry. And it's not fucking fair that people hate emos and scene kids. It's Why? Not. We have never ever done anything to you. We don't hate you. You can be preppy all you want. I don't, we don't care. I have a lot of preppy friends. I have a lot of scene kid friends. I have a lot of gangster friends. I'm pretty I have all kinds of friends now. All kinds. From all varieties. And I'm still the edgiest bitch of them all. Am I just straight up G to them? Do you know how often I said straight up in this video and like straight up G? What the fuck? Because I don't care. Why must we all hate when we can truly just love each other? What? Oh my god. Why do I have to see Fox News does a special? Fox News is not a credible source of information. Jen, we've learned report on emo zine kids and we're all getting beat up because of what we choose to be our style we do have sad moments okay <laughs> we are human we are allowed to feel the way we are and you guys you guys are doing all these things to hurt us and just hate on us and because and wanting to kill us or ramming into us with your car or whatever it's not fucking <laughs> it's actually true though i had a friend who got hit in the parking lot of his school by one of his friends or whatever because he was emo and they like, you know, opened up the window and they're like, yeah, emo kid, fucking die. 
But like, it, it was a, it was a joke. I found out afterwards, but like, it still upset me. You know, I'm gonna. I was probably near my period too when I made this video, so. Being great, it's not cool. If our life wasn't so violent, it would be better. It's true. For once, it's in everyone's life. I just want them just to see that hatred and violence doesn't solve anything. Okay. It doesn't. You gotta love yourself. You gotta love your neighbor. You gotta love everybody. Why everybody trying to be better than everybody? Why everybody trying to fight all the time? Why can't we just all be friends? Why can't we be friends? Hey, it leads to more death. It leads to more to sadness. And it doesn't sadness. lead to anything good. No. It doesn't lead to anything good at all. Nope. So instead of always hating someone because of what their style is or what they choose to be, stop. Instead of being an emo kid. And Don't be an emo kid. And calling another person a poser. Who the f You're all posers in the beginning, too. Judgmental motherfuckers. You are human. You are nothing more than a human. You are nothing more than a human. When does style start coming in and changing everyone's perspectives on what they feel and what they sense on? High school. I'm sorry if I'm crying and you can call me a straight up emo kid for crying. But straight up emo kid, see? You know, I do feel strongly about this. I'm not quite fond of. I feel more strongly about like you know people bullying each other. Like I'm 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 on the defense whenever someone I see something on the bus or like someone getting disrespected. I'm like defense. Like I don't even. It's not even my business, but it's my business now because I'm not a bystander. Accepting my friends or my type of friends group getting hurt because you can't take five minutes to respect someone for who they are and not what they look like. Yeah, we have every day. We are going to get judged for what we look like. Even in the place of employment, I get judged for having piercings or tattoos, and people try to like talk like I'm not educated or that I'm just a waste. And like, it's just so society is. And I learned that in the last ten years, nothing's changed. Piercing. Yeah, we have hair covering our face. Yeah, we have our style. Oh boy. So do you. Gangsters, you can shave your head, carry shanks, and join the bloods in the- That was racist. Crips and have gang fights that kill each other for no purpose at all, but an old fight between Tupac and Biggie, or what- I was totally relating this to, like, uh, gang violence now. Whatever the fight is- From emo kids to gang violence. Between them. Why? Why can't you just, like, be normal people and not hate each other? Why? Because- I don't even have an answer for that. Why? Why can't we be normal people instead of hating each other? Right? What the fuck is normal? What the fuck is normal? I don't understand why all of you think that it's just so easy to hate each other. It's, it's so easy. I wish I knew how to get viral back then because I would have flown with this one. I would have been like, oh, hey, my name is Chris Crocker. I'm making that money. What up? What up? Is Chris Crocker making money? Who in Violet is making money now? I don't, I don't even know. Boxy? Boxy. Yo, Boxy's loaded. Yo, Boxy, yo, she went big, yo. Props to Boxy. What's good with Jesse Slaughter? I don't even know. Easy to hate each other, isn't it? My mascara is probably running. I don't care. My mascara is running. I don't know. Easy to hate each other. I wore mascara box on. Oh, look at my eyeliner, though. It's easier to love. It's easier to love. It's easier to say, you know what? You are, family. you are family. You are brethren, you know? You're my home dog. For one day word. in my life, I want to see an emo kid and a gangster come up and shake hands. No one ever gave that to me! You know, just see connection, love, that there is no hatred, that there is nothing between them. Because emo scenes, gangsters, all these it's clicks, water, all these labels, we're not gang. We're not the army. We're not we're fucking gang. hated people. We are kids. Kids respect each other for our age. Respect each other because we choose to be. We have the strength to be what we want to be, even if it's hated. Even if it's hated. As for the scene and emo kid movement, let it be. It's getting stronger because more of you are emo kid movement. What the fuck was I like, going on about? So instead of all this, hate, uh, love but guess what though? Let me. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Fun fact. You know what I have seen survive? Emo kids. I still see emo kids today, on YouTube especially, like, 
Oh, I can't even name the only one I can think of off the bat is like that Eugenia Clooney girl who's like literally life's hanging by a thread but she's emo she proclaims to be emo and like all her friends that she associates with but like yeah like emos <laughs> still exist so for all you guys that thought the emo movement would it become bigger than what it is look at it it's so big now now everyone wants to be an emo now you see everybody at raves <laughs> everyone wants to be emo now for me, for me. I, I might not be much, but at least for me. What is hipster? Isn't hipster, like, derived from emo of some sort? Like, thick rim glasses, sweaters, and... I want to see at least one day where everything's okay. The ending is epic, Where there's though. no fighting, where there's no hate. <laughs> I've got the best cry face ever. I just want everything to be okay. I don't want to see these, oh, die emo kids die. I made a group on Facebook. It was a horrible group, by the way. I mean, with all the labels, Kids Unite. And kids are fighting on it, saying, oh, emo kids, emo kids, kill them all. What the fuck? <laughs> I could knock a fucking hole into everyone's head. Oh my god, you're so violent. Like, of what they look body like. chill. I swear to god, I think I'd cause a lot of concussions out there. Would you, though? Would you though? You were so soft, Jen. You were so please, soft. Please. You're still soft. Take this video, think about it, send it to your friends. No, don't send it to your friends. Think you about ruined my life. That it's time to share the love, not the hate, okay? It's time to love each other for who we are because we respect each other. Oh boy. Yes. Please. That's right, though. That's please, right. Please, for me. Thank you for listening. Bye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The best part. Princess Punk out. Princess Punk. Well, that was refreshing and also very long, but I'm probably going to be a story time teller because, yeah, back in my emo days and every other day of my life, there's just been so many adventures! That was my video. I'm so glad that you stayed and watched my reaction to 15-year-old me. That's... that was me. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. What the fuck was I doing with my life?